I have the electrical system installed and I temporarily installed the fairing harness just to test out everything before I go much further. It's a lot easier to fix problems at this stage. I've got my new battery installed and uh, I decided to route the ground wire up to the frame rather than down here at the speedometer bolt. Puts a lot of stress on that bolt and can strip out so I like to do it to the frame. I've installed the ignition switch. Uh, the two center terminals are 30 with the red wire. 15 and 56 are the green and then over here is the gray parking light. So I'm going to turn the key to the parking switch setting which is right there with the P and let's check out the parking circuit. Uh, the parking light is lit. The lights inside the instruments are lit and the clock is running which is a good thing. We should also have the tail light running light lit. I think you can see that although with the overhead lights on it's a little hard to tell but it is lit. So that seems to be working. Um, I'm going to come back here and try to turn the switch to the full on, but I probably need two hands to do that. So I'm in the full on position. In that position, the parking light circuit is out, and that's what I have. And of course, my clock is still ticking. Um, now, this rear light is lit, but that's really because the brake, the rear brake rod's not installed. So that's the brake light, and if I push the switch, you'll see there's no light. So that's as it should be. Now let's come back over here and look at the dash. And all the lights on the new cat dash board are working. And we can try this set of controls. This is the horn, which would appear to be loud. And let me go to the headlight on, and I think you can tell the headlight is on. Um, that's a good sign. Let's check the flasher circuit. And I get a flash, and full on, I get full on. And let's check the running light again to make sure I have a running light and I do so that all seems to work now the other setting here is the parking circuit so I'll go to the parking circuit and make sure that's working and the parking light is on the light inside the instruments is on and of course the clock is still ticking and the rear running light is still working along with the brake light it seems. Let me turn the brake light off. Yep. So that whole control is functioning on this end. I'm going to go over and check the other side where the turn signals are. And uh, I'm going to turn the turn signal on for the left signal which I think you can see the front ones flashing and the rear ones flashing and then I'm gonna flip it to the right and this is the right side front signal which is flashing and the rear signal is flashing so that's working I'm not gonna do the starter yet I'll do an engine test later but I am gonna try the kill switch and everything just went out back on and out so, I think everything that I've installed and cleaned up and repaired is working in the electrical system.